everyone. So Oliveta recently posted um, a question on Gem Circle about the face and the eyes. Uh, in terms of the hands, there are a couple of things I like to think of like as a, just the fundamental basic ideas. The first one, imagine you have a, a cloud under your armpits, yeah, so that you never really glue the hands to your body, yeah, so always a little bit of space. Then, you have heavy elbows that are looking down, because the moment the elbows are going up, we have shoulders going up and everything going up like a, like a backpack, yeah. Uh, so we want to keep the elbows down, because if the elbows are down, the shoulders are down, and the neck is long and beautiful. Uh, in terms of the of the hands, yeah, for a long time for me, use of hands, use of fingers was actually um, a serious moment to practice and to pay attention because you know I was thinking I'm dancing and I'm using my my hands uh, to the full, but then I would look at the video and I see that I'm continuously dancing was just having this I don't know what as if my as if my wrists and my fingers are don't exist, you know, and that doesn't give a nice impression. Uh, of the line of your arms. It feels like as if something, you know, something is cut. <laughs> to me, the arm movement is really 50% of the dance almost, you know. Sometimes I do the arm movement before I do the movement of the legs or the, some step because the arms can direct, they can accentuate, they can point, they can execute the step before you actually do the step with your with your legs. A couple of things I like to think about. Well, first is Nicholas Brothers' idea. They were saying that uh, imagine you have a long match between your in between these two fingers, and so because you're having this, you're holding this long match, you're elongating the two fingers, and while elongating them, you're elongating the whole palm. The rest of the fingers, they kind of they kind of try to try to reach to this position. So the other way of thinking is from ballet classes, where you elongate and straighten up the pinky. Once you do that, all the rest of the, of the fingers, they try again, they again try to follow the example of your pinky and they elongate as well. That's how you have a long, long fingers. The whole idea of long fingers, I remember when I took a class of um, stage movement and modeling. <laughs> yes, there was such a class. You know, when you're taking a photographs and you need to place your fingers in this or that position and they say, long fingers, long fingers, and I never could understand what, what does that mean? And they would say, imagine that you have heavy drops of water falling down from the tips of your fingers. And that association really helped me to, to actually envision, imagine the long fingers stretching and becoming those drops of water bones. So I like to use that imagery a lot, but as well, I like my fingers to be very active, so they're doing something. So whatever movement I'm doing, I'm trying to either grab or throw or uh, caress or stop or catch or cut. So there's some kind of action that I'm bringing into my fingers, specifically fingers, not even the arm, because I, th I find this part, just your palms and fingers are so expressive, so energetic. How many things we're really expressing and telling to others with just the gesture of the fingers? It's a lot, right? The same in dance. So just to find those expressions, you can use some of my practice card games is to just with your fingers only to express, for instance, um, to, to pick something up. And while you're picking it up, you're thinking, uh, what is it that you're picking? Is it something small and fragile and light? Or is it something is it something quite big that you have to form your palm in this or that way? Yeah. What else can you pick up and from where? And think about it and make the action. Or for example, if you're saying with your hands, with just with your fingers and palms, stop. Yeah, how can you say that? You can say back, you can say back, you can say whoa, whoa. <laughs> so all of these expressions, yeah? Or how can you grab something? What is it that you're grabbing? Just thinking about this action and imagining at the same time the action of your fingers, yeah? And then, of course, the wrist. 
obviously we cannot move just the fingers without moving wrists and sometimes it's really about just having one song or half of the song dancing just focusing on your fingers and arms and thinking what in this moment my hands and my hands my palms are doing and maybe searching for that action so instead of doing that maybe you can go and finding a little bit of this fragility of, the, of this picture painting of your arm movement the second part was about an angry and worried look <laughs> i guess well i guess we have an <laughs> worried or angry or absent look in the moments when we are absent actually we're absent we are thinking about something that's not right now. We're thinking about uh, the, the past move or the next move or um, something else that is not now and is not at this very moment. Because at this very moment, if we're paying attention to every single step, our face has a presence. And when we look, when we're doing a move from side to side, our eyes are actually truly looking to one or another direction. See what I'm saying? They're not absent, uh, looking nowhere and just trying in your head to leave the choreography or the step or this or that, yeah? So it's, a, it's about this philosophy of life, the power of now, of, of doing this movement and being fully in that movement. And maybe sometimes you can look, just pay attention to something, pay attention to your hands, pay attention to your step, pay attention to the person you're dancing with, pay attention to the music, pay attention to the feeling that, you're, that you are having at this very moment. I'm always connecting to this feeling, you know, because whichever step I'm doing, it gives you this or that feeling, this or that association, and through that, this or that association, you can have different face expressions here. Yeah, maybe sometimes it's teasing and squeezing, or maybe sometimes it's big, or maybe sometimes you're giving a lot of energy and that kind of comes. So in some sense, I believe in this periphery of the body, your face, your neck, your fingers, your toes, they are the portals of, of um, they are the portals through which you transmit emotion or energy. So um, it's all about connecting to it and noticing it, I guess. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't say that there is something that you can practice or, you know, tell yourself to do in order to have this or that specific face or face expression. I mean, face expression should be honest. And honest face expression comes from feeling something, yeah? And sometimes face expression can be, can, can be very bland, like it, it, there can be no face expression because maybe because of stillness and that's a face expression as well. <laughs>